another brutal gang rape in India and the victim dies. Um, hashtag justice for Manisha. In the Hathras district of Uttar Pradesh, India, a 19-year-old Dalit woman from a village in Uttar Pradesh's Hathras district died nearly two weeks after she was gang raped and brutalized by four men. The teenager suffered grievous injuries, including multiple, multiple flat fractures on the spine. Her tongue was also slashed. While the woman, well, the woman belonged to the Dalit caste, the four suspects are from an upper caste. All four have been arrested and booked for attempt uh, to murder and gang rape. Uh, Uttar Pradesh is ranked the worst state for women's security, while rape is most rampant in the state of Madhya Pradesh, according to the National Crimes Bureau uh, Records Bureau data from 2018 that was released in January of this year. So this um, story has been rocking India for the past, I think, week and a half. Um, the village where this happened is now basically under a police state based on some of the footage I was watching. Um, there has been scandal over how the body of this victim was handled. Um, there are, I, there's so much going on with just this case. I almost like don't even know where to begin. Um, her body was cremated at 2 a.m. in the morning, 2.30 in the morning without permission from her family. Um, people are alleging that this is an attempt to destroy evidence. Um, there have been people saying that it wasn't a rape. Um, the, it, and now the um, intensity of intercaste violence, particularly in that region, is reaching a fever pitch. Um, there were protests in support of those, um, the accused. And, and there have also been a number, at two or three come to mind at the top of my head, of other prominent rapes or gang rapes that happened since she died in the past week and a half. Um, so what happened to Manisha, I don't even have to say, is horrific. Um, the people of this area, the people of India are crying out for justice um, for those who did this to be held accountable. Do, do we explain to people what Dalits are and why, like, what, how this is related to him? Oh, okay, I mean, I, okay, I'll give a short um, explanation. So, uh, caste system in a core belief of Hinduism is that there are basically different like ranks and levels of people, depending on your past karma, you're born into a certain caste or class of person and your role in life is dictated by your age and your caste by blood. Um, and people are, are going to say that's wrong. <laughs> Cause anyways, um, there are several different castes. They represent different parts of a god, different parts of the body of the god. And sure they are people are, who are fall yeah. even outside of that system. They yeah. are so low that they are not even included within that system, and they are called Dalits or untouchables. Right. Um, so. And for people, the girl people, from that caste. Yeah. So a lot of people saying that the caste system is like not a big of an issue compared to before in India anymore, but in but in rural areas in India, it's still a major problem, and people are being discriminated against, and people um, are being treated very, very differently because of the caste that they are belong to. And the, you know, the Dalits are the out. The Dalits are the or the untouchables they call them, or the outcasts. Uh, they get the worst. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about, like, there's a hashtag that there's a lot of protests going on. There's a lot of great activism against this crap happening in, in India itself. Um, there's a hashtag going around right now, Dalit Lives Matter. And I think we should do a live stream dedicated to that hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, hashtag Dalit Lives Matter and go over different issues. Um of you know what the doll is like maybe we could get our community to tell us what to focus on in that live stream and the things that we need to feature i don't know 
actually I've actually been talking to some people about what we should feature for that. Right, right, it's right. Large issue. It's hard to find one thing to. to I might, I might just do a good review video of a video that does a good job at covering it. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, something like that. But uh, yeah, but but do we need to have we used the hashtag Dalit Lives Matter on Atheist Republic's Facebook and Twitter account? We should. Um, I don't know if we have. We should. We should, because that's this is now a big thing right now mm -hmm. in India. And hats off to all the people that are doing, like, we have our own community, in, like, we have people from India, Soraya was just, like, he was protesting, he, yeah, like, Soraya is, we Dalits are effing protesting day and night for this, well, I mean, look at this, I mean, you guys, thank you guys, you guys are on the front line of this kind of activism, You thank you for your service, right, oh, here, mm -hmm. Dalit is saying, uh, Soraya is saying, Dalit lives matter, Really appreciate. Thank you. Yes, yes. Hashtag. Yeah. That. yeah. Let's let's do an entire live stream on that. That's mm -hmm. very important, right? Something that Soraya is always giving me so much good information about. Lots of educational yeah. resources. Yes. Um, yeah. So this really bad situation that happened in Hathras um, really brought back to the national consciousness um, that the case of uh, what happened uh, near the Nurbaya case, which is when that girl was gang raped on a bus by like eight people. And um, the people who did that to her, um, they were executed this year. I, or uh, if not all of them, a number of them were executed this year. And um, so it, not only has this case brought that um, what happened eight years ago, freshly back to the national consciousness, but it's also starting a conversation of like execution is not deterring this. Like execution will not deter this type of crime. Right. And so there needs to be better measures to protect women. And there needs to be better measures to hold the police in the state and those accused accountable for their behavior because of the casteism issue in this situation. Um, there has been a lot of um, tampering with this case already. Right. Um, wait, Rivka, do you want to say something before I review some of the comments? Oh, I was just going to say that, I mean, this just seems like an ongoing systemic, you know, metastasized cancer that is happening in, in, in India because literally just a few days after this happened, then these two young girls were raped in two different areas of England. Literally just days after the country is reeling from this horrific gang rape of this other young woman and everyone's out on the streets and it's just happening. And honestly, like, that I use those words on purpose. I feel like it on some level, and of course, it's not every Indian person, and it's not, but it seems like it's systemic throughout a lot of places in the country, and it's like metastasized in a way that it's everywhere. It's almost this like growing sort of tumor that people can't seem to get under control, no matter what they try. And I, I just feel like you hear all the time when this happens, people say, oh, it's terrible, that's sad, but girls shouldn't go outside by themselves. Or, you know, in the case of the Delhi bus, well, you know, why was she on the bus anyways? And she was with her boyfriend, and that's not right. And, and it, it, to me, or they're just asking for it by their clothes, it kind of mimics some of the comments that were being thrown around um, in denigrating um, our men or our families or other women with regard to the sexy Callie thing, you know, so, so angry about her sexuality, but yet so willing to use sexual violence in threats and imagery. I, it's just, it's a very very interesting and sad situation. That's my right, thoughts so, on it. 
Ch uh, Katie is saying the police cremated the body at midnight without the family's presence, despite the family begging them to let them see the girl's face one last time. Yeah, that was that was how the backlash increased. Inc like the that's a major part of the news that happened a few days after. Um, but go on. And yeah. what about the forensic evidence? I mean, did they mm -hmm. cremate yeah. the body without doing an autopsy, right. without that finding all the forensic evidence? I mean, that right there, it, it just seems so. Mm -hmm. Do they just want it to go away and they think if they get rid of the body, then it will just go away? Or do they think that, you know, they're protecting some of these young men or what? I mean, I can't figure it out because you also hear so many conflicting reports when you read it sometimes, yeah. too. Um, things about it. Katie brings up an important point. Um, they... Uh, they took away the body from the family to the point that there were people protesting and throwing themselves in front of the cop cars, trying to get them to stop the car. Like, mm -hmm. and this is part of why the village based on the footage I've been watching, like is basically like they've blocked off all areas to this family's house. The village is basically under martial law. Like I've so many khaki police. Um, and then they said that um, the police said that they wanted to perform the, uh, uh, they, they're the last rites according to their Hindu traditions and then the cops insisted that they carry out the uh, uh, cremation immediately because in our tradition we don't keep the body for long so basically it turned into like an interreligious discrimination as well saying well, we're practicing it the Hindu way we're not going to let you do it because we don't keep the body for that long um, and um, Soraya saying um, that was not even the cremation. They detained the family and logically they disposed of the body, not cremated. I'm I'm not entirely sure what you mean by it. Like, as in a cremation is a ceremony and they just dis destroyed the body. Um, uh, they cremated by the cremation was a destruction of the evidence, maybe? Is yeah, that right? Yeah. I think that's what he means. Um, Katie's also saying there are known cases where police act the victims not to fire a report so as not to destroy young men's lives because it was just sex. Um, yeah, that happens in America as well. Um, but, you know, uh, don't do that all like the American no, I'm, thing. I'm exactly. not trying to. Let me reach America. Yeah, yeah. Let me well, I just want to make a comment, though. This whole right. religious thing, well, we have to you know, do this right away because of our religion. I mean, I know that in Judaism and in Islam, you're supposed to bury within you know, 24 hours, but they make exceptions for. Uh, you know, different things, particularly like if it's a crime and they need to keep the body for evidence. So I, it just seems that they almost don't even care or that they they have no s sense of like the, the rules of law, the, the um, chain of evidence, how you conduct an investigation. It's almost as if they just want everybody to to shut up and focus on something else so they'll burn the body and then everyone can get upset about that and they won't actually be talking about the crime itself. Um, uh, we got a super oh, chat. Thank you for the super chat, Trolls. Um, he's saying, during the Delhi bus case, the victim was beaten with metal pipes, which reminded me of the verse in the Vedas about beating women with sticks. Um I think what Rivka had to say about like the themes of sexual violence was really interesting. I didn't even think about it that way. Like you're right. I have never been threatened with sexual violence at the level ever, let alone the level with which I've been threatened with sexual violence over the past month because of sexy Kali. Yeah. Again, people don't know what we mean by sexy Kali. You just say for, from the Hindu controversy that we got ourselves into. Too, okay. Um, thank you so much for the super chat, Terrell. I do want to quickly, guys, I'm going to read this. No commentary on this again uh, mm -hmm. because we need to move on. Uh, Jackie's saying, I mean, I have commentary because you guys already talked about it. Uh, Jackie's saying, if that's not enough, th um, it's not, wait, if, if that's not enough, the extent of the atrocity went beyond what's already unthinkable. Okay, I'm, this is just the way it's written, okay? The families are deprived of a, respective, uh, of a respectable farewell to their little girl. So she, this is referring to the forced cremation 
um, that they had to deal with. Uh, okay, so this one I want to highlight because this is kind of BS. Patrick saying, I'm generally opposed to the death penalty, but okay, every time you see that, then don't say you're against the death penalty. Whenever you say I'm against the death penalty, but then shut the hell up. You're not against the death penalty, okay? Uh, but in cases like this, it's hard for me not to advocate for a public execution of the of the perpetrator. Uh, pre perpetrators okay jesus but patrick no go go f yourself with your stupid uh, uh solutions that is not going to solve anything and that is vile and disgusting and yeah and it's uh, yeah go 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 some go somewhere else with your uncivilized solutions to real problems okay this is not going to solve anything and your your solutions are disgusting um hold on let me see Okay, here's here's the last one I wanted to read. Abhe is saying nobody is safe in Uttar Pradesh. Doesn't matter which community you belong to, particularly Dalits, Kuldeep singer raped a, a, a minor there, never arrested for numerous months, and got their whole family members, lawyers killed uh, systematically. Okay, so here's the thing. Uttar Pradesh, I just wanted to highlight this because I wanted to say, like, uh, Uttar Pradesh is a Hindu version of Aceh. Is that what it's called in Indonesia? Yes. Aceh. Okay. So um, in Indonesia, like you have one province that is specifically very, very Islamic, and they have like more Sharia in that province compared to the rest of Indonesia. So I think like the way you want to look at Uttar Pradesh is the same look way you look at, uh, uh, you know, the relationship between Uttar Pradesh and India as a whole is the Hindu version of the relationship of, between Aceh and all of Indonesia. Do you think that's a fair comparison? I think that's a fair comparison. It's known mm. as a BJP stronghold, and people call it like the micro version of what India could become um, under stronger and even more heightened BJP rule. Mm. They People also call it the Florida of India. Oh, Katie's saying, you want to read? Oh, yeah. Uttar Pradesh, in my opinion, is the miniature version of what India could become if BGP stays in power for long enough. Eesh. Oof. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a nightmare. Anyways, news, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button. But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 